Ammonium-based fertilisers are the major cause of soil acidity from fertiliser in Western Australia. Ammonium nitrogen is readily converted to nitrate by bacteria in the soil. During this process, hydrogen ions, which cause soil acidity, are contributed to the soil. Different forms of ammonium fertiliser contribute different amounts of hydrogen ions. In this case, one molecule of diammonium phosphate fertiliser contributes three hydrogen ions and two nitrate ions. When nitrate, which is negatively charged, is taken up by plants, a hydroxide ion, also negatively charged, is released from the plant, maintaining the electrical balance in the root cells. If both nitrate ions from our molecule of diammonium phosphate were taken up, two hydroxide ions would be released. These hydroxide ions combine with hydrogen ions in the soil to form water. This leaves one hydrogen ion contributing to soil acidity. Nitrate ions are readily leached away from the root zone in most southwestern agricultural soils. If the nitrate leaches and is not taken up, all three hydrogen ions remain in the soil, contributing to soil acidity. Different nitrogen fertilisers follow different chemical pathways as they break down in the soil and contribute different amounts of hydrogen ions. For example, nitrogen from potassium nitrate fertiliser enters the cycle as nitrate. If the nitrate is taken up, there is a liming effect because the hydroxide ion excreted by the plant roots will neutralise a hydrogen ion from the soil. If the nitrate is leached, there is no liming effect but also no soil acidification because no hydrogen ions are contributed to the soil with the fertiliser. The breakdown and chemical pathway of nitrogen in organic plant residues is complicated and both uses and releases hydrogen ions. But if the nitrate is taken up by plants, there is no net acidification. The breakdown of urea fertiliser is similarly complicated and non-acidifying if the nitrate is taken up, but is acidifying if the nitrate leaches.